is Nick here from Poor Pandas, based in the Sutton Coalfield area of uh, West Midlands. We're a dog daycare centre, and been established now 12 years. We've um, recently been awarded the five star rating from DEFRA, which is the licensing system within the daycare market itself. And um, we successfully uh, managed to get to 60 dogs a day on a pretty regular basis. Um, we're now hosting probably 90 breeds over a month period uh, come into us on uh, either a monthly basis or weekly basis depending on what their owner's requirements are. Now I think the perception of daycare has been probably got a little bit confused really. A lot of people see this as a place where young girls are fussing dogs, they're cuddling them and it's a bit sort of Namby Pamby in a way, maybe, if you would like to describe it that way. That's not what this business is about. This business is about helping people get their dog through some awkward times when they're a youngster or a puppy, or if their dog's got an issue, they generally need some help in just steering the dog in the right direction. If you think about, if your son went and joined up, join the military services, be it the fire, the police or the army. He's going to come back with better manners. He's going to understand his place in the world. He's going to understand that he must listen and he must do what we have to do. Dogs don't ever have any discussion in their life. They have no chance of debating this, whether it's right or wrong. They just have to look, watch and, and try and fit with around, around their requirement, our requirements. So we're trying to give that sort of guide to a dog to, to understand that it can't just have everything all the time. The reality of the world isn't that way. It's got to learn, it sometimes has to wait. It's probably the best command you can ever teach a dog is wait because it's probably going to save its life. And um, at the end of the day, that's just one of many things that we're trying to do here. We're trying to obviously exercise dogs you yourself know how, many, how important, especially in the, in the last 20 years or so, how exercise has played a, part, a huge, huge part in keeping people healthy. Um, there is also the element of socialising now. It's become more and more important within the dog world. We're mixing our dogs more often now. There's a bigger variety of breeds across Britain. I think there's 266 breeds registered in Britain alone. Um, I was amazed when we got to 90. So 266 would be some colossal effect, really, uh, temporary. But, um, so you can see that we're now having to adapt our dogs into the way we live our lives. We want them to be with us, we want to go out more, we want to see our friends, they've got dogs. You do not want the lunatic dog. You want the dog that is fully capable of meeting other dogs in a, in a behaved manner and, and respecting that way. So we're here to help you guide your dog through some of the more awkward parts of trot dog training Keep it healthy and uh, most importantly, have a load of fun. Um, you'll see some of our Facebook videos, um, some of the mad antics we get up to, um, and that's part of life within the dog world. And hopefully, you'll come and join us.